learned today that in the STEM, there's, the, like, there's more to women than we know. That women are not only in the, the kitchen type. We also learned that women like, are more, we can help in the science um, field, in the technology field. We also learned that with, like, if we have a plan, we should go for it. We shouldn't like, be hesitant because there are men in all the fields. When, when women are there, women are also better. Women can do what men also do. And we should have hope in what we do, yes. Okay, so today's program has been really perfect because it has blessed my life a lot. Because STEM, as they say, science, technology, engineering and mathematics. I'm an art student. You wouldn't think that why would an art student be talking about this. But actually, it has really helped me. The mentorship section, God. It talked about you have to do what you, have to, you can do best and everything. So I always have in mind that I can do everything. That was one thing I learned. I've been motivated that women can do it all. Even in the kitchen that they place, Says we perform chemistry there, so what can't I do? I believe I can do best. Thank you very much. Um, at first, I have this perception that with science, you can do everything, but I just got to know that even with home science, business, and whatever, you can achieve whatever you want to be. And also, the interaction we had with the pilots, the female young pilots, really inspired me because. Like looking at the way she talks, the way she is, her personality, you could see that she is very young. But she, I think she actually didn't listen to what um, the environment said or whatever that she encountered. But she actually went in for what she wanted. So I'm really inspired. Thank you. The woman has said it all. Uh, it's not only science girls or business girls or general arts girls who can be a pilot. Even um, home economics girls like home science, we too can be. A pilot if only you have you have the motivation that you can go you can go for it without thinking about what people are saying we had um, Auntie Eugenia as a mentor and she really enlightened me on like how life can be as a woman like we are seen as maybe weak or naive and not able to do a lot of things but like this world is for both of us for both men and women and even when, when women sorry we are coming up and then like they are changing the world. There are lots of women who are doing empowering things in the world. And we also learned that like for the men's side, we got this from a mentor, he's a guy, it was like from the men's side, sometimes they feel like intimidated by the women, so they think that you should pull them down. But like you should we should both empower ourselves to make the world a better place. Okay, the program was a nice one. We we're happy to know that STEM is not only about science, but then arts is inclusive. We actually enjoyed ourselves. So today, basically, everything they've come to talk about is letting us know that even though STEM stands for something that seems like it's only for science girls, it's for everybody because I myself am a business girl. So when they came to speak to us, they just let us know that we are supposed to be able to manage our time properly, develop our social skills, and then being able to learn properly because at this point, the biggest thing on our minds, I'm a final year student, the biggest thing on my mind is what's that's my final exam. I'm supposed to know how to do everything they've taught me so that I can develop my transcript, get into a good university, and then hopefully end up joining the STEM program one way or another. Okay, so the mentors like this, they spoke good English, like serious good English. And they were very comfortable and confident. Like they came down to our level to help us understand. And then they were not shy to tell us certain things that they went through that made them who they are. And they said a lot of key things that really helped me, especially seeking God's permission before you do anything and not limiting yourself to certain careers because your country is limiting you to such careers because Ghana is a developing country. So there are certain careers that you might not even see yourself doing in Ghana. But then, like Auntie Eugenia said, she worked at so many countries, Russia, UK, and she's doing well. But she didn't put her vision just in Ghana, she sent it out. So they came to really bring us out of like the deep, like just brought us out to see certain things. Because from the secondary level, you're moving out. And it's like no one is there to control you, it's just you, your choice and God. So they just came to like enlighten us and let us know certain things that we can and we have to do. The plans we have to take, just so we can get ourselves somewhere, not depend on someone. Um, the mentor we had, she was a petroleum engineer. And she was saying that she wasn't in interested in physics, but after she was done with SHS, she had a change. And it wasn't just any ordinary change, but a choice. So it shows that we shouldn't limit ourselves to maybe arts, because maybe arts is not for a, 
maybe medicine is not for an arts girl so you are not supposed to limit yourself because there are many people out there who did arts in SHS but are offering business in the university so the world is not just basically limiting you you have to expose yourself and be who you are we should also avoid procrastination because time management is key that's what I learned